Hey, Sneakers back. Enough one tonight. Yeah, I know. Right, today. Yeah, today. The full install today is MX17. The full release was a couple of days ago. And I thought, I'll give it a go to make sure it's all hunky of the dory and was nice and quick to download, which it was, which is super duper. Now, I've used it in the past in its various forms, okay, because it's been a long time coming. I mean, I've been viewing this sort of stuff for a long, long time, okay. MX, NTX, etc., etc., Mepis, bloody, bloody, bloody. Yeah, a long, long time. So, anyway, a couple of guys a while ago were doing some beaters. And I looked at the videos and thought, well, it looks promising, looks promising. I wonder what it would look on my system, you know, because it's quite a high end system, how it would look. And as you can see, it looks utterly fantastic. Yes, I've got all the NVIDIA drivers installed. The new road drivers actually work with my 970. And I couldn't believe it. Because I done it in the box first, thought, because it ain't going to work with mine. And I thought, well, I'll put it on a USB stick, put it on the main system. Guess what? It works. Okay, no problem. So this is fully installed on hardware on my system. Okay, so we'll go through a few things with you about MX Linux. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit of my hard drive already. Because I've already put all my music on. Okay, well, well most of it anyway. I'm sure I had a bit more on that, but hey. But the base system only uses about 3 to 4 gig, okay? And now some of you may say, Sneaky, you've only got 31 gig of RAM in there. For the simple reason, every time I keep the 64 in, when you install some systems, it will give you 64 gigabyte of RAM. What a waste of hard drive, yeah? That could store an awful lot of stuff. So I whipped half of it out. And this is how I'm going to stay until they can sort it out, right? Most distributions at the end of the day, okay? So we're using a simple screen record here to record with you. So we're using 10, 11% of my CPU to record in 108060. So that's all right. Super duper, isn't it? Yeah, all right. Don't mind. So let's have a go, shall we? Let's go to the browser. Hello, browser. How are you? This is MX Linux Community. So here you can go download and do whatever you want to. Read about it. Join the forum. So if you go to support, go to the forum. So I'll just click on it so you can just see. A little bit of a drinkage. There you go. If you want to know anything about it, just go and have a look at the end of the day. Bit of a drinkage. Mm -mm. Mm. So the Fox works alright. I've installed quite a few programs on it, as you can imagine. Oh, I'll tell you what, I haven't installed a decent audio player, but we'll come to that in a second. Here's my file manager, loading him up. Okay, so it's the usual. Nice. I XFCE man is the best in the world. I know some of you go, oh, can't they use this and no name is that and cinnamon? No, 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 no. For old people like me, we just like XFCE and that rhymes. Yeah, know what I'm saying. If I go to videos, I've not downloaded all my videos to it yet, and I'll show you how VLC handles it, okay? And it is pretty sweet. This is Sneaky Boy on holiday. Okay? Sneaky Boy on holiday. On one of my 4K cams. Okay, there's only 1080 though, by the way. Comes out perfect in VLC, no stutters, no nothing. Layers, okay. Yeah. He's asleep now, so he doesn't know. Okay, hopefully, he won't find out. So, go to our menu, which is down on the left hand side. The only thing I don't like about MX17 or MX in itself is they put the bar on the left, okay. But that's probably because I'm old and I like it on the bottom or on the top. But hey, you can have it anywhere you want to, you can change it, you can customize it as much as you want to. Yeah, I oh, know. Super duper. Anyway. Menu, okay. Can run a program. Conky toggle, so I can go conky off. Okay, go back again. Conky on. Right, it comes back on. Result, yeah, it worked. Okay, so go back to our menu again. LibreOffice is here's your full default thing. Now, the one I wanted to show you really, 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 because this video is not going to be too long, okay, is MX Tools. So we'll open them up and you'll see. Now, as you can see, I will say to you, once you start using the NVIDIA drivers, the whole thing changes completely. It gets so much sharper. It really, really does. So I hope when the new drivers come out, we can get updated really, really quickly. You can make a live USB. Okay, so just snapshot your system, basically. Same as one here. Just snapshot it. Yes. Make the ISO. Just in case, you know, because you never know. If your system goes bang, you can put the disk in and do boot repair. Oh, yeah. Super. Menu editor. I don't really worry about it, personally. Now, to install your NVIDIA drivers, you go here. Now, it's not a full GUI thing. It goes to Terminal, like a lot of other systems do, okay? including Linux Lite. Okay? Go to Terminal, do that sort of stuff. Your Codex installer is also Terminal. 
in the day, but you have to agree to, to some options here, because in some countries you're not allowed to, officially. But we won't talk about that. Okay. Configure Conky here. Do your system sounds here. Select your sound card in case you've got more than one. I've got an external sound card that I was going to fit, but the audio from the onboard sound here is a lot better than it looks like. I will say that. Okay, a lot better. So they've they've gone above and beyond in my opinion. Tweak. You can tweak all your stuff. Yeah. What more do you want to do? Missing any keys? Click there. Your package installer. Okay. Should we click there just in case? No, not yet. Okay. Quick system info. Okay. This is my system. Okay. There we go. Just in case anybody's saying, no, it's not a full install. I know somebody's like to moan. Yeah. A lot of Linux moaners this time of year. I think they're suffering from the disease called SAD. They need a bit of sun and they get upset when there's no sun. So here's my system. The MX kernel. 41301 AMD x86 64 bits. Okay, XSE 4.12.3. This is the distro. Is MX17 x84 sorry 64 Horizon released on the 15th. Hmm. That's all right. That's a new one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's my board. Okay. X99 UDB4 tells you everything about it. You want to. My processor is the i7 5960X on here. So, whew, so it's, of course it's going to fly. But I would say, even if you've got a lower-end machine, give yourself a bit more swap, it will give you good results. That's all I'm going to say. It says here, and it goes max to 3.5, okay? Yeah, that's a bit of a lie, actually. Mine actually hits 3.9 at times, maybe 4. But that's a silicon lottery for you, isn't it? That's how it goes. Now, bane of my life is the GTX 7, 7, sorry, 970. If you can find it cheap enough online, buy it. But just be careful with the distro you're going to put on it, basically, in the, the day. Because it's so picky, it's unbelievable. 1060s, 1070, 1080, fly. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit some bobs about my system. So I'll press key to close. Ba -ding. So the package installer. Should we have a quick look at that? I did say I was going to make it not too long, didn't I? This is the basic package installer. You still get Synaptic, by the way. I'll just close that one behind it. I didn't want to do that. So say you want to oh, install some well-known uh, software packages, so Audacious. I've already got Audacity. Okay, I've already installed Spotify. Not one of them. Browsers. Right, I've, I've installed Chrome, okay? But you could have Chromium, NetSurf, Opera, Palmoon, Quipzilla, Slimjet. We'll scroll down. Say you want to install a dock. Now, I really like Cairo Dock and Docky. Okay, They're old school. A lot more people using Plank nowadays. Maybe they'll go away. Maybe they'll get updated. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Screencast. Okay. I've installed OBS. Works super fine. I'm using Simple Screen Recorder now. If you've got an older machine, maybe only a dual, single or dual core with limited RAM, get Record My Desktop. It will get the job done, but at the end of the day, it will take a little bit longer, but you will be able to do them videos. And I can guarantee that because I used it for a very, very long time back in the day. Okay. What else? Oh, under video. Okay. Let's click video. DVD styler. We don't actually find that much anymore. Don't you? Caden Live installed. Open shot and SM Tube is already there by default. And then you can get other window managers if you want. So Budgie, Gnome, Ice Weasel, or Ice WM. I like to call it Ice Weasel, LXD, or Mate. And you can choose what one you want to use at startup. That's so pretty simple and pretty cool. Oh, I did say it was going to be a short video, didn't I? Now it's gone a bit longer. Sorry about that. Okay, we'll do the basic, basic, basic stuff. So, accessories. XS, XFCE, guys, come on. It comes with a load of stuff. The iDevice mounter, right, okay. I've not, an, got, not got an iDevice for a simple reason. I'm not really into Apple, but some of you may have an iPhone. Does it work? Somebody let me know if it actually works, because I don't think it's going to work, personally. Unless you've got an older iPhone. They're always about one or two behind, if you know what I mean. But you do get Midnight Commander. Oh, back at the oh, I'm going to open it. Go, go do it. Oh. oh. I'm back in 1999. So, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Back again. We'll go back to graphics. Gimp is, is here by default. Uh, PDF scanner. No Macs. LibreOffice Draw, because it's got the full LibreOffice suite, of course, under internet, as you can see here. If, if, if the bomb does get dropped and we lose all broadband, 
you've still got known PPP for a bit of dial-up. But if that happens, just get Tiny Core. It'd be so much easier. God. So always keep a copy of Tiny Core somewhere around, just in case. Okay. Hex Chat, Thunderbird, and Transmission. Under Multimedia, there is loads here. Asunder is by default. Audacity I installed. Clementine. I haven't come to that. Ooh, no, it's not found my music yet, is it? Because I'm going to have to add that. Okay, let's have a look. Playlist, blah, 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 blah. Tools, blah, 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 blah. Where do I go? I want to go to a full library scale. Does it know where my library is? Could this be the first mistake of Clementine? Could be. Okay. Okay. Add folder. That's the one for me. Music. Open. And here we go. It's going to scan all my folder. This could take some time. If it does, I'll cut the video. But it should be fine. I'll tell you what, while it's doing that, we're going to do something else on the other screen. Because yeah, that could take some time. So, go up to our menu again. Multimedia. GUV, C View is here for your webcam. Caden Live, I installed. OBS works just fine. SM Tube. There's another thing if you've got an older machine, say it's single or dual core, little RAM, and it doesn't want to play in a browser, just use SMM Tube. Sometimes it don't work. Hopefully they're keeping it up to date. That'd be great. Spotify. Yeah, I've installed Spotify. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what it was, so let's wait for it to come up. Hang on. Is it going to come up? It's thinking about it. It did run earlier. I must admit. See, Conky went then as well, did you see? Ooh, what's happening here? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting noise in my headphones. But I'm going to minimise that. Because I think... Right. That's playing. So I'm going to pause that. And we'll go back to Spotify. Okay. This is my other Spotify account. I've got quite a bit on here. Okay. There's are songs I listened to quite a lot recently. If you're old, you won't want to look at these because this is my sort of choice. Okay, at the end of the day, this is what I listen to. It, some of you, it won't appeal. Okay, okay, we'll close that. We go back to our window. Mm. Have we scanned all the tracks? Oh, apparently, I've got 3,325. I'm sure I have more than that. But hey ho, who knows? It works super fine, no problems whatsoever. Obviously, if you want to get rid of it, you have to right click here. And quit the screen. I know. Where was we? Office. Full LibreOffice suite, as I said before. But you also get Orage. Basic in XFCE. Love it. PDF Shuffler. That looks good. Okay. Under settings. Everything you could think of. I oh, know. Everything you could think of. I mean, I don't know what else to say, really. I'll open up the NVIDIA search settings, okay? It's only the 375 driver, but it works better than some others, okay? It's just the system seems to be tuned for it. Or well, maybe not. I have to be thermal settings. It's only at 44. That's at, well, 46 now, okay. And my power matter, of course, it's using all my stuff. Yeah, well, I was thinking about this. What do you want? Blood? Okay. Okay, so finally, got the system down here again. Bulk rename. Conky again. Your live USB stuff. G Debbie by default for when you want to do stuff. H top. Was it H top? Yeah, come on. So at the moment, we're not doing really anything, are we, really? Just over a gig of RAM. It really makes my 64 gigs of RAM a bit default, really, until you start playing heavy games. Real, real heavy games. The main one at the moment that really uses a lot is uh, Call of Duty World War II. Okay, especially on this graphics card, it will run up that RAM to at least 10 to 12, maybe 15. But yeah, And if you want to record as well, you know the score. Hardcore. Yeah. But on the whole, I'm really, really happy with MX-17. It's going to stay on this hard drive for quite a while. So this will be my disk number two on this machine. Okay. Disk number two. I have another three spare hard drives on this machine. One's got Sabion on it. I'm still working on that one. Surge. Stop nagging me. Stop nagging me. But on the whole, I really like it. Sneaky Linux out. Okay, let's, let's play.